don't know if you bought the book, but this is the book. And I would like to start with equation 1 at page 8. Equation 1 is a very special equation. Because I don't know if you realize it, but you can look at this equation for hours and you will not see it. Because equation 1 is already existing for 300 years and no scientist ever really saw and understood the equation, understood the impact of this equation. Nobody ever could realize that equation 1 is the foundation of everything in physics. We're using already equation 1 for 300 years and no scientist ever came up with the idea how important this equation is. Because from equation 1 we can derive, like Newton already demonstrated, the complete classical mechanics. But from equation 1 we can also derive Maxwell's electrodynamics. We can derive from equation 1 quantum physics from Bohr, Schrödinger, Heisenberg, Dirac, Pauli and many others. And we can derive from equation 1 general relativity. And that's why equation 1 is so important. It's the foundation of physics. And Newton has written this equation down because he was more than just a scientist. He was a physicist who was open to nature, who could look at the universe and could be inspired by the beauty, the harmony, the equilibrium of everything in the universe. And Newton has written down a universal law that counts everywhere. And if we expand Newton's law in the fourth dimension of time, where history and future come together, at that point exists the quantum mechanical relativistic Dirac equation. And this quantum mechanical relativistic Dirac equation, the foundation of relativistic quantum physics, can be derived straight from this equilibrium, from Newton in the fourth dimension. And we can derive straight from the first equation, general relativity. And that's, nobody ever saw this equation. They worked with it already for 300 years, but nobody realized that this equation is the key to combine and to unify everything in physics together. It's one foundation. And because it's only one foundation, we start to understand how fundamental, in fact, physics is. Physics is not a collection of ideas, like Maxwell thought. Maxwell he created a beautiful theory with mathematics. With this mathematics, the set of four equations, he described the electromagnetic field, classical electrodynamics. But you can also describe the electromagnetic field with a different set of four equations, so you get the same speed of light. So it's not so special, it's not so unique as people in this time really thought. But to describe electromagnetics in a fundamental way, you have to follow fundamental laws of the universe. And that is one of the problems. You cannot come up with your own ideas. Maxwell did it, Schrodinger did it, Heisenberg did it, Bohr did it, and Einstein did it too. They all came up with their own theories, but Physics is not something what you imagine. That's math. Mathematics, you can do everything, but not in physics. In physics, you have to follow certain rules. And one of the main rules in physics is the law of equilibrium, the first law in physics. 